Marsh and welcome to my reading room. Today, I am excited to share a book called The Silly Cell, written by Mr. William Belmont. The Silly Cell is a fun and informative story, which follows a confused cell on a quest to find its purpose within the body. Through his encounters with various cells, muscle cells, blood cells, and even sperm cells, the story introduces different bodily functions in a way that's both engaging and memorable. The rhyme scheme keeps the story light and fun, perfect for young readers. The turning point comes when the same cell discovers its stem cell with limitless potential, emphasizing the message of self-discovery and forging a unique path. The story then concludes on a heartwarming note as a silly cell discovers fulfillment as a valuable skin cell, contributing to the body's largest organ. Overall, the silly cell is a charming and effective way to spark children's curiosity and learn about the human body and the importance of every cell, no matter how silly it may feel at first. So let's see what the journey holds for a silly friend. The Silly Cell by William Belmont There once was a cell who was very confused. He didn't know what he was meant to do. He wandered around the body. He belonged somewhere. He just knew. He met a muscle cell who was strong and tough who said, You can join me. You have enough stuff. But the Silly Cell couldn't relax or contract. He felt too weak and couldn't keep up with the act. He met a blood cell who was red and round who said, You can join me. I travel all around. But the silly cell couldn't carry oxygen or fight infection. He felt useless and couldn't make a connection. He met a bone cell who was hard and dense, who said, You can join me. I provide support and defense. But the silly cell couldn't make bone with calcium. He felt too soft. This was not what he'd become. He met a nerve cell, who was long and thin, who said, You can join me. I send signals within. But the silly cell couldn't send or receive. He felt too slow and couldn't believe. He met an adipose cell who was trying to eat, who said, You can join me. I store energy and heat. But the silly cell couldn't store fat or heat. He felt small and couldn't compete. He met a sperm cell that was fast on arrival, who said, you can join me. I have a mission so vital. But the silly cell couldn't swim fast or fertilize eggs. He felt too clumsy and had short legs. He came across an egg cell, so lovely and round, who said, You can join me. I have the potential to astound. But the silly cell couldn't turn into an embryo. He felt too simple and was unable to grow. The silly cell was sad and lonely. He thought he had no purpose or role. He wished he could be like the other cells who had a clear goal. Then he met a stem cell who was young and wise who said, You can join me. I have a surprise. She told him that he was a stem cell. See? And he could become any cell he wanted to be. The silly cell felt ever so happy. He learned something special from that stem cell chappy. In hurry and haste, he thanked her with kindness. Then he went on his way with heartfelt spryness. He chose to be a skin cell who was flat and smooth. He said, 
I want to join you. I have something to prove. He learned to protect the body from harm with hydration, to sense touch and temperature, and not least vibration. The silly cell was proud and satisfied. He finally found his place and his duty. He became part of the largest organ and lived happily as a cell of beauty. The End